Hey hi welcome to kids alaf hope you all are doing well due to severe throat infection i'm not able to record any video so today we are going to start a video without wasting our time today very first time i'm going to solve the mathematics question for you people as you know recently we have finished our periodic test so this is a class 8 mathematics question whose time has given as 1 hour 30 minutes and the full marks is 40 So the first question is answer all the question in section A it is given 16 short question each carrying one mark and the first question is the multiplicative identity for rational number as you know that it is 1 to whom any of the identity if you will multiplied any of the rational number you will get the same rational number next the additive inverse of minus 2 by 3 it means what we will add with minus 2 by 3 so that we will get zero of course it's positive rational number that is only 2 by 3 that is option a next next question number 3 is the reciprocal of 1 by y reciprocal of 1 by y means here the multiplicative inverse of 1 by y that is y dash has no reciprocal so here one reciprocal is one as you know reciprocal of minus 1 is minus 1 but only one digit is there that is zero which does not have any reciprocal next the absolute value of 5 by 17 absolute value of any positive rational number is always a positive rational number so and here the answer is option d 5 by 17 now the multiplicative inverse of 3 by 5 into minus 7 by 10 so the first one we need to multiply those as you know 3 into minus 7 divided by 5 into 8 is equal to minus 21 by 40 but the question is multiplicative inverse of minus 21 by 40 means it's reciprocal it's minus 40 by 21 don't get confused by this next the negative of minus of minus 15 7 number question so first of all find out minus of minus 15 is what as you know that the property of the integer is minus into minus is plus but the negative of minus sorry take a negative of plus 15 is minus 15 now the number is here 4 by 9 3 by 5 plus minus 1 by 7 4 by 9 plus 3 by 5 plus minus 1 by 7 here we can see that all the numbers a b c are written only their arrangement are changed so here this is under this associative property number 9 which of this rational number is less than 6 by 11 so here we have to compare 6 by 11 to each and every options through the cross multiplication it will be easier for us 126 72 117 77 so here we come to know that 7 by 12 is greater than 6 by 11 now again take the help of 8 by 13 and 6 by 11 so by the cross multiplication we got 88 and here it is 13 78 here also we got 8 by 13 is greater than 6 by 11 next again compare with the 5 by 16 with 6 by 11 so 11 fives are 55 and 16 sixes are 96 here only we got that 5 by 16 is smaller than 6 by 11 and our question is which of this rational number is less than 6 by 11 so the answer is 5 by 16 now come to question number 10 the multiplicative inverse of 10 to the power minus 5 first of all write down what is 10 to the power minus 5 it is 1 by 10 to the power 5 okay so its multiplicative inverse will be 10 to the power 5 only it means option b because we know that 10 to the power minus 5 is what is 1 by 10 to the power 5 its multiplicative inverse is 1 by 1 by 10 to the power 5 it means one division 1 by 10 to the 5 it means one into 10 to the power 5 which is equal to 10 to the 5 Now, eleven number is the decimal form of zero point zero four into ten to a minus three. Let's solve it properly by step by step. First of all, you can see that it is already having decimal after decimal point two digits are there. So here it is zero point zero four into ten to the a minus three means one by ten to the a three, which means zero point zero four 
डिवाइडेड बाय टेन टू आर थ्री इज वन थाउजेंड सो नाउ आफ्टर द डेसिमल पॉइंट ऑल टोटल दैट शुड बी फाइव डिजिट्स सो इन द ऑप्शन ई वी कुड फाइंड दैट वन टू थ्री फोर जीरो एंड फोर इट मीन्स फाइव डिजिट आर देयर सो हियर द ऑप्शन ई इज द राइट आंसर ट्वेल्व नंबर द सिंप्लीफाइड फॉर्म ऑफ थ्री हंड्रेड फोर्टी थ्री होल्ड टू द पावर माइनस वन बाई थ्री फर्स्ट कन्वर्ट थ्री हंड्रेड फोर्टी थ्री इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पावर सो एज इट कैन डिवाइडेड बाई सेवन सो लेट्स फाइंड आउट सेवन फोर्टी नाइन जा सेवन सेवन जा अगेन सेवन वन जा थ्रू दिस वी कम टू नो दैट थ्री हंड्रेड फोर्टी थ्री इज इक्वल टू सेवन इंटू सेवन इंटू सेवन दैट इज सेवन टू द पावर थ्री and instead of 343 we will just write 7 to the power 3 whole to the power minus 1 by 3 here one property is there a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m into n we are going to apply that one 7 to the power 3 into minus 1 by 3 that is 3 3 cancel out 7 to the power minus 1 which is equal to 1 by 7 option b now come to the Question number thirteen. The number formed from three into ten to a two, which means three into hundred, plus one in by one by ten to the power two, which means one by hundred, and one by ten to a three means one by thousand. So here you could find three hundred. There is no tenth place. It means zero. Then hundred place is there one. So it is zero point zero one. And then after thousandth place is there, so it is zero point zero zero one. So the answer will be three hundred point zero one one. Next, so that this is the option A. Now fourteen number question if three by five whole to the power one minus two x is equal to five by three whole to the power three, then find the value of x. So here. we need to take the help of the paper we don't have any space in the question paper so we will write it down the copy so first of all we will write the question the question is given us 3 by 5 whole to the power 1 minus 2x is equal to 5 by 3 Whole to the power three. First of all, we need to convert them to the same base. So here it is implies three by five whole to the power one minus two x is equal to three by five whole to the power minus three. Yes, when the numerator and the denominator is getting changed, the power also have the negative value. It means the power are here equal. If we need to find out the answer of x, then The, as the base are equal, the power should be equal, which means one minus two x is equal to minus three. Now, minus two x is equal to minus three minus one. This is a transpose method because one is added here. Now, minus two x is equal to minus three minus one is minus four, and x is equal to Minus four divided by two. In the left hand side, it is multiplied. It means when it will shift to the right hand side, it will be divided, and we got our answer x is equal to two. So the value of x is two. Now see from the question, which option is this? Yes, it is option B. Now fifteen number. The standard form of this number five hundred twenty six point zero zero seven is, as we know that. Whenever we are writing any decimal into the standard form, only in unit place a digit will be there, and rest of the rest of the digit will be after the decimal point. So here it will be in the form of a into ten to the power b. So five hundred twenty six point zero zero seven. Already three decimal point numbers are there. So here it will be five point two six zero zero seven as two digit. Shifted to the decimal point, so here the answer will be into ten to the power two. Let's check which option is this. It is option D. Now come to the sixteen number. Four to the power x is equal to one by thirty-two. So write down the question, and here also the same. We need to find out the value of x. Four to the power x is equal to. 
वन बाय थर्टी टू कन्वर्ट बोथ फोर एंड थर्टी टू इन द सेम बेस वी कैन नॉट कन्वर्ट थर्टी टू इन द बेस ऑफ फोर सो लेट्स कन्वर्ट बोथ ऑफ देम इन द बेस ऑफ टू एज वी नो फोर इज इक्वल टू 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 द पावर टू सो लेट्स राइट इट टू द पावर एक्स इंस्टेड ऑफ फोर वी आर गोइंग टू राइट एंड थर्टी टू इन द बेस ऑफ टू सो टू सिक्सटीन सा टू एट सा टू फोर सा टू टू सा टू वन सा so all total there are five times two is multiplying so it is one by two to the power five now two to the power two into x a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m into n and one by two to the power five is equal to two to the power minus five that also we know now what we come to know now two to the power two x is equal to Two to the power minus five. Here also you can see the same thing. Here bases are equal in the both of the side. Base are two. So let's compare their powers. So two x is equal to minus five. So x is equal to minus five by two for the transpose method. So here the value of x is minus five by two. Let's see in the question which option is this? It is option B. So here we have solved of two sixteen question very easily. Now come to the section B where it has given four question each carry two marks, and in seventeen number of question or question is there. So please be mindful. So what is the 17 number question multiply 11 by 13 by the multiplicative inverse of 22 by 39 So let's do this here Here we need to multiply what 11 by 13 by multiplicative inverse of First write it down so that there will be no confusion 22 by 39 and multiplicative inverse or the reciprocal of 22 by 39 is called as what 39 by 22 only the numerator and denominator will be exchanged now we can cancel it out 13 ones are 13 threes are 11 ones are 11 twos are so what else left 1 into 3 divided by 1 into 2 so the answer is 3 by 2 For this, you will get two marks. Kindly do it neat and cleanly. Let's do eighteen number. In eighteen number question, the question is expressed in standard form. The distance between the sun and the planet Saturn is about. Here the number is written. So let's write down one four three three five double zero triple zero triple zero. It's one trillion four hundred thirty-three billion five hundred million meter. So now we have to convert this. It means we will put only one number, which is the last digit in the unit place, and rest up all all the digit in the decimal places. It means four three three five. Let's count how many digits are there? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 11 12 so there are all total 12 decimal digits after the decimal point and they all are converted to the higher value to the lower value so there will be positive exponent 10 to the power 12 and meter don't forget to write the unit now let's do 19 number let's see what's the question in 19 number question is find the value of x So that minus six whole to the power x plus one into minus six whole to the power five is equal to minus six whole to the power eight. This is the same question. Here the bases are already equal. Minus six whole to the power x plus one minus six whole to the power five is equal to minus six whole to the power eight. Now we know that a to the power m into a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. So here minus six whole to the power x plus one plus five is equal to minus six to the power eight. While you are doing this one by solving this one, as it is two marks each, write down the property two. Yes. Then the next one, as you know, we can add only the numbers. So minus six whole to the power x plus one plus five is equal to six, 
is equal to minus 6 whole to the power 8. Are the bases are equal? Here the power should be equal. So x plus 6 is equal to 8. It means x is equal to 8 minus 6 due to the transpose method. And the answer is 2. Then next come to 20 number question. Represent the rational numbers on the same number line. One is 5 by 6, another one is 7 by 12. So let's do the 20 number. As you know that both are unlike. It means that denominators are not equal. So first of all convert them to the equal denominators. So let's convert 5 by 6 with the denominator having 12. So what we need to multiply? Yes, 2. And whatever you will multiply in the denominator, you have to multiply in the numerator. So 5 2s are 10 and divided by 6 2s are 12 and 7 by 12. So let's draw this number line with the help of the ruler and with the help of the pencil. Do not use pen. Draw a line. Give in the end two arrow marks because this is a number line and number line is unlimited. In the middle 0 and in its two ends 1 and minus 1. As you can see that there are all total equal 12 equal division we need. So we will put 12 minus 1 it means 11 lines. And both are the positive rational numbers so they will lie in the right side of the zero and they are proper fraction so they will line in between the zero to plus one 12 equal division so let's draw 11 line 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and this 12 in 1 so now let's write down the first one is 1 by 12 second one 2 by 12 third one 3 by 12 fourth one 4 by 12 and so on if it is useful to you and you you are able to understand this one please don't forget to like this video Ten by twelve, eleven by twelve, and one is itself twelve by twelve. Now we have to show that ten by twelve and seven by twelve. So here this one is seven by twelve. Let's round up, and this one is ten by twelve. As simple as that. Was this video till the end? And write down in the comment section how much marks you have secured. Now come to the section C, which. As 3 into 4 means 4 question each carrying 3 marks here simplifying using the properties question number 21 so first of all let's write down the question section C in this case 2 by 5 into 1 by 6 minus 1 by 12 plus 2 by 5 into 2 by 3 as you can see that in both of this section 2 by 5 is common so here according to this we can take 2 by 5 as common first write them together here distributive of multiplication over addition property has worked so here we will take common 2 by 5 so that inside the bracket we can write at first 1 by 6 then plus sign then 2 by 3 then 1 by 12 now first of all we have to finish our bracket work so first 2 by 5 into here the LCM is 6 so 1 plus 6 division 3 2 2 2 is a 4 
minus 1 by 12. Again, the next step is 2 by 5 into 1 plus 4 divided by 6 minus 1 by 12. So that is 2 by 5 into 5 by 6 minus 1 by 12. And 5 and 5 will cancel out because of the numerator and denominator. And 2 and 6 also can be cancelled out. 2 ones are, 2 threes are. It all depends upon you whether you can cancel or not. Now 1 by 3 minus 1 by 12. Here also 3 and 12. 3 is multiple is 12. So its LCM is 12. And 12 division 3 is 4 into 1, 4 minus 1. That is 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 by 12. Again we can bring it to the lowest term that is 1 by 4. In this question number 21, one or question is there. So either you will do the first one or the second one. 3 to the power minus 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 into 5 to the power 3 whole divided by 5 to the power minus 7 into 6 to the power minus 5 into 5 to the power minus 5. So first of all write down the question. There division sign is given. Here we will write divided by. Plus 5. Okay. Now let's solve it. As you know we can write 10 as 2 into 5. So let's write that one. 3 into 10 to a minus 5. 10 as 2 into 5 whole to the power minus 5 into 5 to the power 3 divided by 5 to the power minus 7 into also we can write 6 as 2 into 3 whole to the power minus 5 into 5 to the power 5. Here one property will work that is a into b whole to the power m is equal to a to the power m into b to the power m. The property that is used here first we have written that one. Next we can separate them 2 to the power minus 5 into 5 to the power minus 5 into 5 to the power 3 whole divided by 5 to the power minus 7 into 2 to the power minus 5 into 3 to the power minus 5 into 5 to the power 5 and write the property that is used here. Now you can see that in numerator and denominator some common numbers are there. So let's cancel out 3 to the power minus 5, 3 to the power minus 5. Similarly 2 to the power minus 5 and 2 to the power minus 5 will be cancelled out. Now what left just write it down. 5 to the power minus 5 and 5 to the power 3. So we can write that as 5 to the power minus 5 plus 3 and 5 to the power minus 7 plus 5. Here the property that we have used is a to the power m into a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. So next here minus 5 plus 3 is equal to minus 2. So 5 to the power minus 2 divided by 5 to the power minus 7 plus 5 is equal to 5 to the power minus 2. Here also the numerator and denominator are equal. That's why they are cancelled out and our answer is 1. Next, question number 22. Find 3 rational number between 2 by 7 and 3 by 8. So first of all as you know that they are unlike. So let's convert them to the like rational number. By converting them to their equivalent rational numbers. As you know, 7 and 8 are co-prime numbers. That's why their LCM is 56. So let's multiply with 7, 8 and with 8 we will multiply 7. And we know 
the number which will be multiplied in the denominator that number should be multiplied with the numerator so the answer is 16 by 56 and 21 by 56 so now we need to just write three rational number in between them that is 17 by 56 18 by 56 19 by 56 or more is that 20 by 56 too the question is given for three rational number you can write any three out of this four but do not include 16 by 56 and 21 by 56 because the question is write the rational number in between this two rational number next come to the question number 23 solve for x 2 to the power 2x into 2 to the power x plus 9 is equal to 4 to the power 3 whole to the power x 6 it's my bad so write down the question number 23 at first and here you can see that bases are not equal so first of all we have to convert the base as a equal as in one side it is written 2 and in other side it is written written 4 so kindly convert the 4 base as the exponents of 2 so here first of all the formula or the properties that can be applied that is a to the power m into a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n so it will be 2 to the power 2x plus x plus 9 and 4 can be written as 2 square whole to the power 3 and whole to the power 6 instead of 4 we will write 2 to the power 2 then to the power 3 then to the power 6 now here we have to add only the variables so 2 to the power 2x plus x is equal to 2 to the power 3x plus 9 we cannot add a variable with a constant whole to the power 2 to the power 2 into 3 into 6 here the property that is applied that is a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m into n now this one is 2 to the power 3x plus 9 is equal to 2 to the power 2 3 is a 6 6 6 is a 36 now here the bases are equal so we have to equal the powers so here it is 3x plus 9 is equal to 36 it means 3x plus 9 is equal to 36 so 3x is equal to 36 minus 9 this is due to the transpose method that you might have learnt in standard 7 9 number is added here so in the other side it will be subtracted now 3x is equal to 36 minus 9 is 27 and x is equal to 27 by 3 that is equal to 9 as 3 is multiplied with x in one side so the other side it will be divided so the answer is x is equal to 9 now come to the next question 24 number we have to simply simplify that one either you can use the property or else you can directly in question number 21 it is mentioned already to use the property but in question number 23 it has not mentioned so you can use any method 24 sorry so the question is 3 by 7 into 1 by 6 minus 1 by 42 plus 1 by 6 into 5 by 14 so here it is Three ones are three, three twos are six, so one into one is one divided by seven into two minus one by forty two is equal to sorry plus one into five divided by six into fourteen. It is one by fourteen minus one by forty two plus five by fourteen six share you can write or you can simply write six into fourteen now as 1 by 42 is subtracted from this 2 so first add 1 by 14 and 5 divided by 5 divided by 6 into 14 so first add them and here the lcm will be as 84 is the 
multiple of 14 so the lcm is 84 6 14s are is 84 now 84 division 14 is 6 6 ones are 6 and 84 division 84 is 1 into 5 is 5 minus 1 by 42 and 6 plus 5 is equal to 11 by 84 minus 1 by 42 now take the lcm from 84 and 42 as 42's multiplicing multiples is 84 so the lcm is 84 or else you can find it out 4 6 ja, 4 3 ja, again by 3 3 2 ja, 3 1 ja. so the lcm is 4 6 ja, that is 84 And 84 division 84 is equal to 1 1 into 11 is 11 minus 84 division 42 is equal to 2 that is 11 minus 2 is equal to 9 by 84 again you can bring it to the lowest term that is 3 3's are and 3 28's are so the answer is 3 by 28 like share and subscribe to my channel again come to the section d this is the last question it is a case study to enter an open air exhibition people had to buy tickets one day there were 1500 tickets available for adults and 1200 tickets available for children at the end of the day the total 1400 tickets were sold so first of all write down the statement so that you can understand actually what it is asking for available tickets for adults is equal to 1500 and available tickets for children is equal to 1200 and on one day all total 1400 tickets were sold out of which 775 were tickets for adults and 625 were tickets for children now the question is write the standard form of the rational number p by q representing the number of tickets sold out for adults of the available tickets for adults and also write the multiplicative inverse of them so this p by q represents what first write down sold out tickets for adults is equal to 775 and sold out tickets for children is equal to 625 writing this statement will help you to understand the question properly and this p by q represents what now sold out tickets for adults to buy available tickets for adults So now sold out tickets for adults is 775 divided by available tickets for adults are 1500. Now bring it to the lowest term or the standard form. Divide it by 25 directly also you can do. 25 threes are 75. 7 minus 5 to 25 25 ones are 25 6 are 150 and 60 so the answer we got that is 31 by 60 but still another question is there write the multiplicative inverse of the above rational number so standard form we have already found out but the second question is multiplicative inverse of the above rational number so the multiplicative inverse of 
31 by 60 is simply 60 by 31. Now the next question, write the rational number p by q in standard form which is already mentioned p by q that we know 775 by 1500. If 25 more tickets for adults were sold, it means along with 775 more 25 tickets were sold means 775 by 25 out of this only 1500 tickets don't forget that there are total available tickets for adults are only 1500 so now it's all total is 800 by 1500 if you cancel out zero you will get the value as 8 by 15 we have written this one in the standard form it is already given and another rational number r by s here r by s represent obviously the rest of the part which is the sold out tickets for the children by available tickets for the children because p by q is already mentioned in our first question so the second question is obviously it meant for the children available tickets for children so let's write out tickets sold for children as we know that that is 625 and available tickets for children is given us 1200 But the question is given if 25 less tickets for children were sold it means 625 minus 25 by 1200 which is equal to 600 by 1200 now cancel out 0 and 6 1 just 6 6 2 is a 12 also it is said that to write in standard form so bring it to the lowest term So the answer is 1 by 2. Hope so you people have understood this question answers properly and if you will have any doubt you can write it in the comment section and also write down how much marks you people have secured and please keep the like share this one with your all friends and relatives and if you are new to my channel then please do the subscribe and thank you so much for this 750 subscribers stay tuned for the next part for other classes also maths question answer solving and also we will prepare for the next periodic test and all the best to all of you bye bye